route. Now it's ownership and bank accounts. What's the beef with that cake about? Young and black on that paper route. They never thought we'd make it out. Hey, look. Back again, back again. It's the Rich of Heart Podcast. It's your boy Munchie B. And the princess of the pod, Mariah. What's the deal, Mariah? We uh we had a little break, a little Christmas break. How was your Christmas? It was excellent. We made homemade tamales. That's a tradition Mexicans do, you know. Eat them on New Year's Eve. We celebrate I mean Christmas Eve, we celebrate Christmas Eve, technically. Oh, okay, okay. Everybody don't know you uh got half Mexicano in you and shit, because you know. Yes. You talk so much black history, they ain't, they ain't even knowing. I know my other side, too. Both sides? Yep. You and your Cesar Chavez and your Martin Luther King. Absolutely. More like Malcolm X, though. Okay, so 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 you celebrate Black History Month and Cinco de Mayo. Yep. Well, I'm yep. coming to your house on Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> hey, but no, your mom's already said she going to hook it up for me and she. she yeah. This, I, I want some Mexican folk. Oh, she makes everything homemade. I told you, pull up. I'm going to pull up like Huggies. Mm-hmm. That's where all the good food is at. All right, you my partner in crime. You my little sis. So you didn't heard about uh, the past events going on with me at the Boss Mag podcast. Mm-hmm. So I think he's going to address the elephant in the room so we could get back to Richard Hart. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Let's get to it. All right, so... Me, I, I, I'm, I'm raised a certain way, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I got uh, friends that that's Crips, you know what I'm saying? And we comfortable with each other. So if I blood them, they cuz me, it's good because we're comfortable with each other. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So in this instant, I was uh, at the Boss Man podcast with the everybody that I did the round table the song, song with mm-hmm. and video, you know what I'm saying? Which is three power rules, a Hoover, a Comp the Crip, and me. Mm-hmm. Okay, so during the interview, you know, because we're not going to play that clip because I don't, I don't want to even shed no light on that. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know what I'm saying? The the comp to Crip, he, he said, here, cuz. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, who cousin me? Mm-hmm. And he's like, maybe. And he said, me, his name. He said, he's like, you got to get used to it. I didn't like it. And then it went somewhere else. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Now, Keep in mind, I'm not playing a clip because I'm not proud of the clip. Mm-hmm. Because I wish, because I asked him not to cuz me, I wish he just would have respected that. And then we could have moved forward. Mm-hmm. And then it wouldn't been no back and forth. That little fiasco that played out, I didn't, I don't care for it to, to relive it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. For one, I got a daughter that's 17 to be on social media. The video's getting sent to her and shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like I ain't, I ain't, I ain't with all that shit. And I don't shed light on that little, the weak ass shit. I don't, that ain't cool to me or whatever. But it went somewhere it shouldn't have went. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, uh, basically, I, I'm, a, I'm about to, I'm about to have Alex play a clip showing that before this day, which was like a week ago or probably a little under a week ago, on this clip, maybe months ago when. Somebody was at No Jumper uh, getting interviewed by a, a Crip, and he was, you know, carrying on how he's carrying on. I didn't prove of it then, and I spoke on it then. Mm-hmm. Just to fast forward to the future, let people know that that's just how I carry myself, and that's just how I rock. Right. So, Alex, go ahead and run a clip. Uh, did you see the, the Brick Baby and, and Snoopy Badass No Jumper interview? No, I was seeing clips of it, but I really didn't indulge into it. Too much. Hey, hey, one thing about you, you the you the you one of the only LA rappers I know that don't have no drama or no back and forth or no beefs or nobody. Yeah, we not from the door like if it's really that, then we gonna keep it in the streets. Right. You feel me? So I really don't indulge into the internet type shit anyway. That's beautiful. Keep it positive. I love to hear that. Oh yeah, we gotta keep it positive. I mean shit, we've been negative all our life, but you know, we can take it there, but I'd rather not though. Yeah, you don't even gotta speak about it. We all know that. No, okay. Facts. Well, what, what, what? I really didn't see it. Why? What happened? No, no, no. It was it was a fiasco. It was, it was. I mean, I seen a little like like I said, it was like little clips. I heard them talking about uh, the whole thing with C Mac and his and his and his baby mama, the homegirl Tania. But that was about it. And then I heard they were trying to say he pressed big boy. I don't know. Like I said, I don't really get into politics like that. But I'm probably have to go research and look at look at it. After I don't the think he pressed Brick Baby. Brick Baby was in his workplace. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't think that, but I 
what I was going to bring up is like, I've been knowing you for a minute now, right? Yeah. And we communicate. I'm talking about like etiquettes amongst members. He, he I'm a, I'm a, I'm a blood and I, that's, that's the first time I ever got tired of hearing blood. Like he said blood so many times. And where I'm from, like when you communicating with the opposite, like a crip or anything, you don't blood him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, or, and vice like, versa. You, exactly. You know what I'm saying? And it's I've a been form of you. respect. Right. So, so, so that's why I'm like, I wanted to see if you had, you know what I'm saying? I had seen that or whatever. I didn't, but I'm gonna go check it out now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna really go check it out now. All right, no, I was just like, man. All right, I played that just to show that been my stance because I. Had, People such as my my coworker Spider, he said, "Man, it might have been alcohol induced." You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Not at all. That's just that's just how I rock. That's how I was raised. You know what I'm saying? I'm a I'm a I fall up under like I guess the old law. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So now I'm about to uh, tap in with a keyway from that side of the tracks, and I want to get his his stance on it and how he feel about it. You know what I'm saying? Right. All right, so we're about to dial up Hoodie Hood. All right, say something to Hoodie Hood. Hoodie Hood. Yeah. Look, one more time. Yep, yeah, we hear him loud and clear. All right. All right, we got Hoodie Hood. Hey, Hoodie Hood, hey, man, walk, well, walking on Richard Hart, bro, bro. And, uh, good looking out on giving us your time, bro. I appreciate it. It's me and my, 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 the princess of the pod, Mariah. You know what I'm saying? We just tapping in. So uh I'm pretty sure you, you you reacted to it, so I'm pretty sure you updated on 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 the on the recent fiasco, you know what I'm saying, with, with, with me and uh the Keyway partner from, from from Santana. And I just wanted to get your your uh your view on on what you what you saw and then after that I got some follow up questions. Basically what I seen was you know uh the homie from Santana, he 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 didn't see nothing wrong with what he was doing, uh, for the for for whatever reason, um, but proper gangbang etiquette, which was my second video, uh, you know, it's just a mutual respect, homie. I mean, it's just I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk to you no type of way that I don't I don't want you to talk to me like you know what I mean. And even if a motherfucker's okay with it, even if he cool with it, um. What you eat don't make me shit, homie. So if a nigga tell you that he not okay with that, you got to respect that. You know what I'm saying? All right. Like, I don't know. I, I just always been the type that that wasn't cool with me. I know it's a newer generation out here, and niggas is going to what they do. These young dudes, they talk to each other a different type of way, but we come from, I think you the same age as me, right? You about 35? Yeah, I'm 34. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know how old homeboy is, but at the same time, it's like, I don't know. We just come from a different era where if a nigga, we don't even talk to each other like that. But if somebody is talking to you like that, we're going to voice how we feel about that. And then when somebody tell you pretty much like, well, it is what it is. Like, I'm not going to stop talking how I'm talking. Like I said in my video, man, them is, them is fighting words. Right. I would I would have reacted the same way, homie. Straight up. Hey, so you pretty summed up to my follow up questions because I was about to say you going uh uh coming through juvenile hall camp, county jail penitentiary. How how you communicated with the with with the opposites, and then you a crip in a, in a, in, a, in a, a predominant blood city. So so you, I'm pretty sure the West Coast twenties and thirties and the forties, forty cribs they they real pressured up about niggas blooding them right facts and that's what i said in my video i understand why you took it how you took it based on who you beef with hmm. it's the same right here like i'm gonna look at it differently than a nigga who probably beef with more crips than he do bloods so he might take that word differently me that's all i beef with as far as you know our hoods not necessarily me on the individual but you know what i'm saying like i i feel like a nigga tested me when he doing that so, like you said, being in juvenile hall and all that, like, I used to try to pretty much not even communicate with niggas from other sections unless I knew them already or they was coming on some respectful type stuff. But otherwise, I wasn't talking to them like that. You stay over there, I stay over here. We already know what it is. 
Right. I, 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 and I want a disclaimer. It, it's key ways that I'm comfortable with that, 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 that we've been knowing each other a good enough time that we talk comfortably and we ain't tripping on that shit. My name KK from West Boulevard, uh, 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 baby left side from forties, uh, infant spank and, and, and low AD from sixties. Uh, I ain't got to say Ron Ron because he at the age, he don't even talk like that no more. Uh, it's like, it's, it's, it's certain people. I'm cut. If, if, if we got a report like that, then it's good. There's somebody that I've been around three times when I recorded the song, the video, and then that day. Like, we, I don't even know you like that, bro. So if you got that report with them dudes that was in the room, that's cool. If you're cool with them saying Bopton on the song and you from Compton Crypt, that's straight with y'all. But that's what that was. But so, so, so let me ask you a question. When you, when you seen him the other times prior to this, had he been cousin you on them other encounters or no? Never, but see, right, so a couple, see why you took it like that. A couple hours earlier, earlier that day, he did it, and I told him, "I hey, kick it back, bro. You ain't got to cut me. You ain't talk regular, cause I talk regular. You know what I'm saying?" And he, he, it was like, "All right, bro." But then when we get on camera, it was like, it was like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but but do you think it was the alcohol? As far as me, not him. Cause Spider, Spider said it was the alcohol as far as me. <laughs> but that, that uh, but I said it way earlier in the day, which is like I witnessed, like you know what I'm saying. But uh, now nah, I, I think it might have. I could be wrong. I don't want to put nothing on him. I think it might have been the cameras. You know what I'm saying? And he wanted. Hey, I'm I'm gonna be completely honest with you. The way you reacted, I saw myself doing the same exact thing, homie. Hmm. So if a motherfucker think you was wrong, then they probably would think I was wrong. But I seen me doing the same exact thing that you did, pressing exactly how you pressed. Right. That's just me, homie. No, right, 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 right. Hey, no, nah, no, nah, that's good shit, bro. Hey, man, hey, no, nah, hey, hey, and everybody, hey, 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 uh, hey, hey, drop all your, uh, your, your, your social medias and, and, and your, your, your YouTube channel, bro, so they can tap in with you before we get up out of here. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you can follow me on YouTube at Hoodie from the Hood. You can follow me on IG at Hoodie from the Hood. You could, you could follow me on Facebook at Hoodie Hood. Um, that's pretty much all I got going right now as far as them social media platforms. Um, yeah, man, you could you could see me on Street TV. I did several things with Alex Alonzo. Shout out to you, Alex. And uh, yeah, man, that's pretty much it, man. Hoodie from the hood, your friend from that big O N. All right, man. Everybody, tap in. Don't tap out, with bro. Hey, man, I appreciate you for tapping in, bro. Yeah, for sure, homie. All right, man. Look. <clears throat> And, and 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 uh before before we we ask you this i i didn't show that clip because i'm not proud of it like i said i had a daughter that seen that and she, you know what i'm saying and I, I want her on the right path i want her to act act ignorant like i displayed on that video you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and that's and that's that and i never even uh reposted anything or said anything oh. after the fact of that this the first and the last time and that's that and then we back to the regular rich at heart business. We are back to it. Back to normal programming. Well, I'm glad that you were able to, you know, talk about it. How you needed to talk about it and it's over with. No, just like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I ain't looking for no moment, no cloud under that little shit. But <clears throat> I'm going to say this, though. Soulja Boy, Blueface. <laughs> I know, I know you seen that unfold. Yes. I thought it was a joke at first. I'm not going to lie. Nah, man. Listen. Listen. I don't want, I don't want Big Soldier coming for me, so I ain't going to say too much, right? Mm -hmm. But Big Soldier, he, he 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 do these antics, and there don't be no repercussions, but, I mean, Blueface ain't playing. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> so, you know how it unfolded from the beginning, right? Um, Blueface dragged Soldier Boy's baby mama in that mix, right? Or did Soldier Boy say something first? It was on Funny Marcos. Cause first, I thought it was just like he couldn't name three Blueface songs. He walked out, but evidently, oh, it's okay. the, the the Funny Marcos thing going further. Mm -hmm. So he said, name three uh, uh Blueface songs. Uh, Soldier Boy songs. Oh, Soldier Boy songs. And, okay. and, and he was able to do it. He was he named like seven. So. Funny Marcos asked, 
if y'all did a versus, who you think will win? Blueface said, no, nah, I'm, I'm a better performer. Ain't, can nobody outperform me? He said, so you think you could beat him? He said, yeah. I think anybody with confidence, you know what I'm saying? And that's like a, you know what I'm saying, a home team nigga. You go say that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. then uh, Soldier Boy, you know how Soldier Boy get. <laughs> I got Gucci Bandana. I got this. I got this. I got this. Nigga, whoop, whoop, whoop. And then here go Blueface. He said, you got hit more hits than me. Well, your baby mama don't think you got more hits than me. My dick is bigger than yours. This, that's what Blueface say. Should he have took it that far, though, to bring the baby mama in? I mean, it's Blueface being Blueface. Also, okay. Uh, what's his name? Soulja Boy gets very offended anytime his name is mentioned. Like, I think he blows situations out of proportion. That's why I thought it was a joke. I'm like, he cannot be serious. Like, I don't think it was that deep. Like... I don't think that, I just feel like it was like friendly competition at first. They're talking about music. How did it get from that to personal? Okay, it didn't go further. So, Soldier Boy get back online. Oh, yeah, call him B word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll I put my DI in, in Jaden's mouth, mm, right? Mm, mm, mm. So he talked about Soldier Boy, baby mama. Soldier Boy shot back. I will put my DI in. Jaden mouth. Blue face didn't take take that too lightly. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So boom. Blue face said, oh, you know, effed up now. <laughs> you heard what happened to the <laughs> the last two security guards. <laughs> let's do it. Let's squabble. You feel me? I mean, let, let's get it in. You feel me? Or oh, everything, right? Mm-hmm. So you know, I'm doing my little social media, social media swinging. They on live. They going back and forth. Soulja, I mean, Blueface like, man, how you want to do this? You know what I'm saying? Soulja Boy called him the B word a couple times. And he said, man, all right, how you want to do this? Soulja Boy, how you want to do this? Blueface said, I want to do it the quickest way. <laughs> what you want to do an alley, the ring, if you feel safe? Like, how, how, how you want to do it? <laughs> Drop your pen. He was like, oh, all right, all right, I'm, all right. I'm gonna drop my pen. So he dropped his pen. Blue face go live, walking from walking down the street, the pen he dropped. Everybody know that Soldier Boy claimed Fruit Town Pyro, but the pen he dropped is in the Fruit Town Brims. <laughs> so Blue Face, he walking down the street through the Fruit Town Brims and he you see graffiti on the back background, all that shit. He in the fruit town brims. Now I'm smart. He ain't doing it by himself. I know he got a car for the schoolyards near. Mm-hmm. Now ain't nothing wrong with that. I ain't, that's not a scary move. It's a smart move. He got some homies near. So boom. Where you at? Like, oh man, you got me out here. Uh, boom, boom. <laughs> and that was the end of the saga. But Blueface on the box because you know what I'm saying. He not playing about Jaden. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I, you know what I'm saying? I don't, and I don't play about my second baby mama. But to be fair, he did bring in Soldier Boy's baby mama first. I don't. I think the whole situation is stupid. Period. The, the women shouldn't have even their name shouldn't have gotten thrown in there to begin with. Cause why bring them in? It had nothing to do with this little. It was something so small that got blown out of proportion. I just think it's stupid. And then they ran Blueface in the middle of somebody else's hood looking for him. Like that could have went totally left too. What if he would have got into it with some random person? It had nothing to do with the situation. That that's likely to happen. Yeah, that's like, likely to happen. But but I I I think Blueface not stupid. He had he had a car full of cribs down the street. Yeah, like, I didn't think he was why, like why, yeah I, I don't think so. But but it's still dangerous though. Mm-hmm. Because you go looking for trouble, you gonna really find trouble. The whole situation could have went so left. I hope that just dies down. But but but. Man, that's that's a big bag. They had paid it. They had paid to see them squabble. Did Chris Brown and Soldier Boy never fought? Huh? No. Yeah, Soldier Boy ain't gonna fight nobody. And no, 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 no. But the fight didn't happen. It, it did not happen because of Soldier Boy. Chris Brown didn't want to want to mess around because Wack One Hundred was involved. Mm. Trying to middle minute. He tried to get, first somebody else setting it up and and, and Wack One Hundred kind of bullied his way in and trying to 
mediate the fight and Chris Brown wasn't going for it and he just like I don't want to do it you know what I'm saying that's what that was all this stuff is just stupid honestly this person these artists are always fighting and anytime Blueface is mad at somebody he brings everybody <laughs> he got a whole circus going on I wouldn't want to participate in anything he got going on because you get dragged in the mud right with him that's embarrassing hey look get your references if you if, if, if Blueface spanks you down who? not you oh I'm talking that third person girl boo. Okay, just you, you, you want to tell me something? I don't know. No, because I'm like, don't even put me in the same sentence category. I don't okay, want to be I thought you circus. No, I, thought, I don't want to be part of that. Okay. No. All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, look, look. If you getting spanked down by blue face, make sure your baby daddy don't get into it with that nigga. Because yeah. you're going to get through under the school bus for sure. Because <laughs> he go like, what? But him and his mom are both very comical. Like, but they really know how to hurt people's feelings. Like, I'm, I don't Listen, know. If I want to know if my baby mama got hit by blue face, I'm going to target him. He go, he go like, yeah, blue face, baby, <laughs> mushy. Oh, uh, I'm like, yeah, all right, yeah, bitch, you caught. He told me. You feel me? Uh, very true. Because he giving receipts. You see what he did with Offset and, uh. Yeah, see, I was, that's what I'm saying. He be dragging everybody in his mess. <laughs> like, because you're having a bad day. So no, but, 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 Krishan started it first because she was like trying to, trying to tell on him about his, his sneaky tales to Jaden. And he did it back. And I think Offset was just a casualty. You know what I'm saying? So, do you think they should just keep all their personal business off social media? Because they literally tell all their business. Like, I feel like it's a reality show almost. That we didn't volunteer. Who was they talking about? Uh, Blueface, Krishan, Blueface, the baby mama, all of them. Like, I feel like we're in a reality show we didn't ask to be a part of. Blueface wouldn't have did it if it wasn't for Krishan. Krishan fought and he fought the same weapon she came with. Mm. I just feel like we shouldn't know all their business like this. <laughs> I, I mean, I agree, but but what is he supposed to do? And you trying to, okay, Blueface live at home with his baby mama and his kids. You trying to ruin his home, bro. They're both equally, you know. Blueface not equal to her because she don't have a family. She don't have kids in the family. Oh, well, she got, well, that's his son. So she don't have a family unit. You know what I'm saying? He live at home with his baby mama who cooks and they got they two kids and, and you trying to throw shit out there to, to throw, throw his family in the, in the. Right, mess his family up. I get right. it, but they're both equally responsible for this. Honestly, and now they have a child together. Like, they're both equally at fault for being real. You don't think so? I think Blueface need to come out with his own condoms. <laughs> yeah, that would have. And they go sell the blue condoms, and 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 they, and they only go buy them because they Blueface condoms. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because you should have shopped up with Krishan for sure. <laughs> they have a blessing out of it. So, to be fair. Yeah, you go set it. All right, it, all right okay, we go set it because cause, cause, cause the baby boy here now. Yeah. But, okay, in hindsight, man, you should have put on that blue condom. That is very true. That is very true. But he just needs to mature, too. He needs to grow up. Like, he has to be accountable, too. No grown man needs to be doing, like, bashing women all over the internet and all that. The women that, that deal with him, they, they, they knew how he was before they dealt with him. Very true. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I feel like, especially so if you, now. If, so if you want a, a grown-up, mature dude, go find one. You you already knew what time it was with him when you, when you dealt with him. No, I just feel like, okay, that is true. Now that we see how he operates, so if you get yourself involved, like, that's on you. Because you see, this dude don't play. He got he keep receipts. He's going to expose you if he feels necessary. I get that. But I'm still saying, like, somebody has to be the adult out of this whole situation. The only one I really see that's pretty mature is his first baby mother. She seems pretty... Shout out Jaden. Yeah, she seems like she just stayed out the mix and But Jaden, you shouldn't have teamed up with Krishan. That was that was that wasn't that wasn't no mature move though. Mm. Why would you why, why would you team up with this girl right here? Not necessarily. You could have any information you would change out of her, you could have got it, came home, went went bad on Blueface, and then you know what I'm saying? But all that on the on the internet with her, making videos with her, that's out, bro. You still got two kids with this dude, you still gonna deal with him. Regardless, and she's out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She'll get some side wee wee every now and then. But, like, mm -hmm. you know, like, 
No, nah, you don't. You don't. You don't, you don't, team, you don't empower her though. I just feel like someone needs to be the adult and walk away from this mess. And like, he need, everybody needs a fresh start in that situation because it's a mess. Honestly, you seem like you'll be a good baby mama. Look, I don't call. I don't bother. I, there's no child support in me. None of that. One baby's father don't bother him. It's simple life is easy. Why? Why do all the mess? Why you got a kids to raise? And my kids are big now, so you know. Why do all that? Hmm. Huh. It's it's not worth it. I like a peace of mind and positivity. You know me. So if you... I wish I wouldn't have met you on the business tip and I met you back before my first baby mama because that bitch trash. <laughs> no, no, for real. Don't do that uh, to her. She did it to herself. <laughs> Shout out to Nikki. Shout out to the second baby mama. The first one, why? Be nice, Munchie. It, we're about to start a new year. You got to start saying nice things. Hey, look, whoever want my ba my first baby mama number, hit my DM, bro. My Instagram is MB underscore THA Mayor. You know what I'm saying? She, Leave she, that woman alone. If she, she F with you, she F with you. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, don't do that. I don't care nothing about her. Don't do that. You can have her. Stop. <laughs> Christmas giveaway. Stop. <laughs> oh, Christmas pass, huh? Uh, Here he go. I'm still on some giving type. You know what I'm saying? Have her. Get her, get her away from me. Be nice. I you, ain't nice. I ain't never planned to be nice. Your daughter's gonna see this. Stop. Mm. Hey, my baby. Look, look. <laughs> my oldest daughter know I don't mess with her mama. Okay, but still, that's still her mother. Would you like it if she went, you know, see her mom and she's saying these things about you to her? To my my baby mama. About if your if your daughter went to her mother's house and she's speaking bad about you, I wouldn't or care. About you. I wouldn't care. I wouldn't care. You make this so hard. <laughs> I wouldn't care. It's a menace if, to society. You can say what you want to say. I don't even. I don't even acknowledge you. Like, I wouldn't. Stop. <laughs> you, can, you can say what you want to say. I'm Stop. ugly. Stop. Uh, you can say mm, no, I'm broke. Uh, I don't know. How to, I don't care what you say, bro. Say it. I don't care. <laughs> I, I'm not trying to impress you. So you can say whatever you want to say. Okay, I don't so know. I don't want you, girl boo. You know those videos when they make like the two exes sit across from each other and have to say like the dirt they did and they end up apologizing. A girl did it and she went viral. It's called like Hurt Bay. She goes by Hurt Bay. Mm -hmm. So if you had the opportunity to with your baby mother, would you guys you think you can squash? No, I'm not hurt. I'm disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> hurt Bay. <laughs> Take Bay up out of me. No, 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 no. Hurt the mayor. Not at all. That, I'm not in that <laughs> equation at all. No. Not oh hurt. my God! Be maybe, nice. Maybe second baby mama, cause I'm not with her, but I got love for her. She a good mother. She a good person. Right. I wish her the best of her. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I want to say this. I feel like there's this big narrative around that people that date people that have kids that they still go back to their child's mother or their baby's father. I just want to be clear. I left when my baby was like two, three months old, and I never looked back. And I'm cool since then. I have one baby's father, we got two kids, boom. One, that, that's it, I never look back. No one ever has to come check for me, I don't, I don't wanna. My baby has to be 10, I don't, I don't wanna. I just uh, don't like that narrative, like some people, and it's sad, don't get me wrong, because you should wanna raise your kids in the same home, you know, how white picket fence, whatever. It, if it doesn't work out, just co-parent and be cool, you know? My first baby mama never worried about my, my, my second baby mama never worried about my first baby mama, like, like hypothetically, she could go to the store for two hours and no, I'm gonna be there. She like he ain't worried about that shit. Mm -hmm. you know I mean? And then me and my second baby mama, we ain't we ain't touched each other in a long while. Like you know what I'm saying? We don't be on that. We just co-parent. Yeah, cause then I think it's easier if you guys can't work it out. Cool. You don't have to be necessarily in a relationship. However, it works for y'all. If y'all could do stuff with the kids, you know, whatever the case may be. But there, there, it's like I see those memes and stuff all the time, and I'm like, that's not true, cause a lot of people don't look back when they're done, like me, like you, like me. But is your baby daddy looking back at you? I don't think so. Not even the slightest bit. I don't even. Sure? We don't. We don't have those type of conversations. No, he's not. I'm gonna just say no. He he's not. He never sent you a text like nope. 11 30 at night. Like absolutely not. Like how's the kids doing? He know they absolutely sleep. Absolutely not. Nope. They got my son got his phone. My daughter got a tablet. He can call it through. No. Nope. That part. Okay. You gotta keep it. You gotta keep it like that. Okay, okay. Oh, everything. <laughs> no, that's baby mama, baby daddy, co parent etiquette. Y'all learned it here first at Richard Hart with Eminem, Mariah, and Munchie. Yes. Yeah. Like, we got to get the Eminem with the pink and the red. That'd Eminem. be so cute. What? Yes. That'd be super cute. Okay. Especially because it's cold now. No, no, no. Next year, 
which is in a couple of days, they go, we go, we go, we go, we go pop out with that. Yeah, since we always almost match every episode. All right, quick story. Female friend of mine, she was like, yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all be matching, y'all be, you know, right? So I, I'm like, what you mean, right? So I thought I, through text you could never tell who, like, how, how a person. The mood is you're right. So, so I'm thinking she pressing, like, like I mess with Mariah and we trying to match on purpose. I'm like, what? So she sent some screenshots, different, like, you know what I'm saying, episodes, <laughs> and like we be matching, but it's unknowingly, you know what I'm saying? Literally, the only time we matched on purpose is with the Boss, Boss Mac. Mac Little get up, and it wasn't even the same color, but it was the same. The same logo. Same, same logo, same, mm -hmm. same brand. But I'm like, I just came to the conclusion that Ash Bash <laughs> showed Mariah where my window at. She be picking through it. Absolutely not. First of all, let's be clear here. Um, this Ash is, Bash fault. <laughs> this is not intentional. This jacket, it's like an army fatigue jacket. This was not planned, so it has tan. I said, I came here, I said, dang it, Munchie, we matching again. This happens almost all the time. Like, we did it with the green. The green. We the, 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 I had, the green I had, a, different, I had a different military type style jacket on. Like, um, I think we we're black or red at the same time. This happens a lot. So let's just be clear. This is not on purpose. Secondly, because you already you already got S. Wiggins talking about you, my girlfriend and my yeah, ex girl. This is just said, business. Why do they keep saying that? No, that's a good thing, Nate. That that show we got chemistry. Yes, and I, I appreciate that because we got the same frequency here. So yes, I love that. Do not get me wrong, but you gotta be people gotta understand. You know, like you can work hey, but with that, somebody. But, but hold on, they thought AJ and Free was garbing each other. Yeah, they did. They did. Because I know when I was a kid, I thought they were together. I thought they were married. I didn't know. I, I, ain't gonna, I still do. I still think I still think AJ hit. Bro, I don't care. And Free, but if they didn't. She's a, she's a, she was beautiful with that deep ass voice. Yeah, Free was definitely pretty. I loved her. I used to want to be a host. Why like she that. Ain't popped up on the scene lately? I thought they did come to a BET Awards a couple years ago. Oh, for real? Mm-hmm. If I'm not mistaken, yeah. I think he cut all his dreads off too. He looked like um, Maxwell to me. Oh, for real? Mm-hmm. Maxwell, he he attracted to you? Not like that, like an uncle. <laughs> like an uncle? Yeah, like oh my uncle. All right, so all right for the viewers. So everybody in love with Mariah. <laughs> I don't know why. Celebrity. Who's attractive to you? Give me three of them. Celebrity. No. <laughs> no. No. Nah, give me three celebrities attractive to you. I can't even think. You can't think? Who? All the singers, all the rappers, all the actors. Ooh. Okay. Number one, this one right here. Kofi. He used to play on this show called... He's like... He played on Girls Trip with Jada Pinkett. That was a dude she... Uh, the younger dude she ended up sleeping with. And then he played on this show called, uh, I don't know, it's an Oprah show. Kofi, I think his last name is like Siribo or something. That man is fine as hell. He's a successful actor. Okay. Number two. Mm -hmm. I said three. Damson <clears throat> from um, Snowfall. Who is that? What uh, character he played? Uh, what's his name? Franklin. Okay. He's from the UK. Mm-hmm. All right. Number three. Hmm. I'm trying to just go way off the, you know. Off the no, you ain't got to go way off. No, because I don't want to say. Because you don't okay, want to say no hood. No hood. No, you, no, you no, no, say, no. You want to say no trap rappers. Or, <laughs> I get it. All right, go ahead. Give me your I'm number three, though. That. Number three, only because when I was younger, I used to think he was so amazing. And I went to like two or three of his concerts. Trey songs. I used to just be so in love with him. Despite the allegations. This was before then. So he not attractive after the allegations? I mean, of course, I think he's still good looking. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, you know, it's allegedly, allegations, allegedly. Right. I just, you know, for the the super like pro feminist women, I didn't want to like, you know, if this happened to them, I didn't want to be like, oh, I'm encouraging. I was just saying, I thought he was attractive. This is before then. Hey, no, he's an aggressive R and B singer. I know that he liked to box. <laughs> <laughs> he liked to fight because he already got on uh, J Prince Junior. Mm -hmm. Oh, everything. But but hold on, speaking of boxing, uh, Javante Davis. Javante Davis. Yes. Okay. Javante Davis did a good deed. Is is is? I don't know. Baltimore, his hometown. Yeah, it but, is. Okay. You can hear his accent. You know they, they talk like you. Right. <laughs> so he did. He did a good deed. You know what I'm saying? He bought up a, a, a basically a neighborhood or a block. You know what I'm saying? And he's going to make it low income affordable. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I call it, you know, slick jealousy, some hater shit. And, and here are the clip. This will happen. 
Deontay Davis announced he's buying a neighborhood, going to redo the neighborhood for affordable housing. Today, somebody burns it down. God knows who. The first thing y'all people mouth is insurance scam. Gervonta Davis, the face of boxing, has to do insurance scams. Do you know he is making 30 and 40 million dollars a fight? How much you think some ghetto property in, in Baltimore is worth? What what the f does he need to do this? It don't even make sense. Y'all just be on the internet just hating and talking. Then to whoever burned it down. Why? What did you get out of burning this shit down? Absolutely nothing. You wasn't even thinking about burning this shit down until he announced that shit yesterday. Oh, niggas don't care about the hood. Oh, uh, fuck this shit. Oh, Whoever mm -hmm. it was. <clears throat> now, I want to know, was this like uh, some, some, some city officials that didn't like what he was doing? You know what I'm saying? Or was it some some haters from high school? Like who who was I want to know who was behind this, bro? I don't want to. Um, I was more thinking like somebody higher up would have did that because I'm thinking people, somebody what somebody higher up would have okay. done that, like you said, city officials or something like that. Because that's crazy. He doesn't need to do like an insurance scam if that's what people were thinking. Like boxes make a different bracket of money so there's no need like that would have been pretty much nothing to him why would he invest in something to tear it up for insurance money like that's that's stupid but um i i can see more like a city official doing that you know they try to gentrify most areas and he's trying to basically do affordable housing so what are they assuming it's going to be people that don't make that much money and it can turn into like a project housing or something you know they're trying to gentrify stuff so maybe what city officials I mean, I hope <clears throat> I hope more athletes and, and, and uh, people that that that's uh, capable of doing these these things do what he did and, and do that in more areas because more areas be getting more gentrified. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like, buy up some shit and make it affordable for for you know the minorities, Hispanics and blacks. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, so I tip my hat to bro, but I, I, I how you burn up a whole neighborhood? So That's that like, that was that wasn't the typical uh, high school hater. Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying they knew what they were doing. Right. That's like that's a real arson. Like they knew what to do to burn the whole neighborhood. Like burn that thing down. And then another thing, um, I like I remember Prince. He used to donate like a lot of money to certain um, like like housing like that. Um, I couldn't think of the word. <laughs> I was trying to say like uh, public housing and things like that they already built or he had so many things in his name that a lot of people didn't know because he didn't want people to know he was a donator so basically what i'm saying is if gervonta let's say he just built that community no one knew it was him he didn't like you know in the alias name if you can do that and no one knew that would they have did the same thing probably not yeah but see he announced it then after that he announced it that happened you that's so saying? sad like that's good to see a black man doing something like that doing something for his community and that's sad that's why you know, they say rappers don't donate. Maybe they really are, and they're just not saying no, no, it, he announcing it. No, but I'm saying rappers and stuff like that, because they right, normally right. come for rappers. I always see athletes doing stuff. Like, right, you know, right. most athletes do stuff. That's normal. But I'm just saying, like, rappers and other artists, that they always swear they're not donating. But what if they really are, and they just don't say anything? Because see, my daughter my daughter went to junior uh, high in Compton, and Dr. Dre donated a lot, like, headphones and, like, Mm -hmm. Not no rinky dinky thing, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then no, 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 no. It, it's people that do it for their community, but they just don't display it like that, or it don't, or they don't, they don't get the uh, shine for it. Get the shine for it. They they just put the shine on the negative. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then if they do, I notice if like a celebrity or any type of entertainer does post, they're like, oh, you. Sometimes you don't have to record. I'm like, damn if you do, damn if you don't. If you do something good, somebody's going to criticize you or try to ruin what you're doing. If you don't post that you're doing it, they assume you're not doing it and you're spending all your money on luxury things for yourself. So it's it's like you can't win when you got money, it seems like. Okay, and that go back to a uh, 211 interview mm -hmm. when, when I was talking about when I went to the school. I was lost in the Crenshaw and then I went and tried to holler at the kids about gang banging and, and you know, since staying away from the streets. Mm -hmm. And then it was somebody that was employed there that was from uh, rolling 60s. And he told the staff, oh, uh, I got 60 seconds and got to school or whatever, or whatever. Right. And, you know, so 11 said, man, you ain't displayed that side publicly. You know what I'm saying? That that that's what you own. You know what I'm saying? Everybody know the, the much you be from the back in the days, all the low, the, you know what I'm saying? The shit I was doing. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, like, because cause we feel like we doing it from the heart. So we ain't got to, like, we don't want no pat on the back. So we ain't got to 
promoting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I guess sometimes when you come like come how we come in, we come from like this type of angle. You kind of dis kind of display so you can get that bad stigma off you. You know what I'm saying? And right. they know you you coming from a genuine place, and you you know what I'm saying? Right. Because late as of lately, honestly, you know I'm gonna take the credit for this because you know being around me, I feel like. You've been since you've been knowing me. You've been much more positive. I don't know if I'm rubbing up on you or right. what. I'm gonna take it right. because the one day you not you go do an interview without me, you see what happened. You see, because I wasn't there to like you know. You wasn't my there. Life. You yeah. was booed up. Where no, you was at? I was at home. Stop Where playing with me. At? I was at home. Stop playing Where with me. Where you was at? Boot up who? I don't know. <laughs> You where know you my at? business, first of all. I'm saying, but play. where you, where you, why you wasn't with me? Because I didn't even know you was doing this. All right, I'm gonna call yeah. you next time. You yeah. didn't know. You I know didn't I'm... know. I had no knowledge of this. If it's business, you know, I come outside. If not, I be in the house. Anyways, much you trying to play. Anyways, but no, 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 no. Mariah, my most stabilizer. Yeah, no, 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 no. She, I, you know what I'm saying. I feel like you've been much more peaceful and you've been handling situations in a much more positive way than people are used to. But so now that you're, you know, being more mature Man, about I, I situations. Get, I get the applause uh, uh, thing going. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I, I, wanna, I need a head clap from Mariah Hayes. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. You should be keeping me off the deep end. That yes. part. Okay. So since, you know, I'm rubbing off on you, you know, you've been more positive and handling your situations better. Are you starting to see that people may be like, dang, I'm surprised you ain't go up on so-and-so. Like, I'm surprised you ain't, you know? No, 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 no. See, you growing up. I, I I like since I started the podcast that I get acknowledged and and, and uh you know praise not praised applauded. I get applauded and I get pats on the back for for some positive mm-hmm. versus <clears throat> the things everybody used to like give me kudos for. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because you know you get kudos for the negative things too and respect for the other things and then mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. And, and you know I enjoy that you know what I'm saying that's good I'd love to hear that so, no no you know, it's cool and, and that's why I said the thing with me and, and old boy from Compton I didn't I, I like I didn't share all the little uh, responses reactions and mm-hmm. all that little things because I, I, I didn't think I was cool I thought I was going to say I wasn't cool with how he uh, responded to you responded to me and it's going to be that and then it went somewhere else you know what I'm saying because mm-hmm. Dang, cause I I do a second call with with with, with Skip Townsend. Mm-hmm. That's game prevention and intervention, and you know what I'm saying. And I will be uh, conversing with with Key Ways, Crips. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. And they run around my boy. You know I talked to him earlier before we came on. And, you know what I'm saying. So like I'm saying one thing, and then when I go on with with that, it looked like it's something else. So that you feel almost like a hypocrite in a sense. Like I'm like conflicting, mm-hmm. and, and I'm not. It's just I stand on principles, I stand on morals, and I don't allow people to cuz me because, like, don't, don't, you know what I'm saying? It's if I'm not comfortable with you that way. Would that be equivalent to me not liking to be acknowledged or not even allowing somebody to even acknowledge me as a B-I-T-C-H? Because some women are okay with that. I just, I don't, I'd prefer I'm not to. I'm going to say why it's different because could your sister be like, bitch, could your sister say it? Could no, they sister... really, we really don't do that to No, 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 I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm not comfortable with him. Cause I don't know you that way to be cousin me. Cause we only kick, we only been around each other about three times. You never cussed me before in your life. And the day of earlier that day, you cussed me, and I was like, "Hey, bro, you ain't gotta cuss me like that, bro." And he was like, "All right." And he was cool with it. Then we got on camera, and then it was a, a different story. I'm saying, but like your friends, that's good with you. Could they? Could they do that? Or you already make that? Known yeah, we kind of don't talk to each other like that. Yeah. Okay. Right. So I, I'm just all around the board. Just don't do that. Right. Now, if you it's, it slips up like an accent, you telling Joe like, "Bitch, you know, girls talk." Yeah. You know, I'm, it's not gonna offend me, but I just choose not to speak to my friends, family members, anybody like that, and not to do it to me. You know. Right. All around the board, and because I have a daughter too, I don't want her to get comfortable. People calling her that, because that's what's in right now. You know, women to dress you as bitch, oh, all, all right. that. I yeah, I rather not. I'm raising a queen, so no. I see, but you you been outside with me, and you see, I I probably talk or address some people. Mm-hmm. I don't dress you like that. Absolutely right. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, form of yeah. respect. So I get it. So that's why when that whole situation happened, I I understood your standpoint. But you still learn from that situation too. That's that's what matters. You know, that you learn and growing from situation. But what I'm gonna say from now on, on some podcast shit, maybe somebody was in character. Maybe you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You got you got Pyros, you got a Hoover, you got a blood. Uh, you a kind. So you saying like I'm saying you the crip in the group. So you saying cause so maybe you was in character. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. So what I told myself, 
on camera, I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let it fly. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, now I I lied. <laughs> I, no, 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 I, I'm still on the fence with that. I'm still like trying to, trying, you know what I'm saying, figure it out. Because you don't know if somebody trying to like, you know what I'm saying? Play with you. You don't know if someone's trying to play with you. And then at the end of the day, too, um, you don't have to overly speak to each other. Because you know how to speak to me. And I don't ever hear you say blood at all when you talk to me. You know, so Bro. you should be able to learn how to communicate without having to speak like a gang member only. I did multiple interviews with Alex Alonzo on Street Games TV, a, a gang banging based channel. And I never said blood on none of the interviews. Go rewind it. Okay. I never dissed a hood, a op hood on none of these interviews because I don't got to because I know what time it is. You know what I'm saying? The last time I dissed a, a op on the interview was I was 17 or 18 on, uh, uh, what's that shit called on A&E? Uh, like a street TV channel? It, uh, I forget the shit called. It's on, or is it going? The, so you got filmed when you was a young teenager? Yeah, it was, I, I said, I said, F the neighborhoods in a derogatory term is called is is uh they got I forget what it's called they ain't did it in a minute though mm-hmm. uh, I'm faded whatever but like it's on A and E or one of them channels or whatever gangland. but gangland oh gangland yeah, why did I couldn't I think yeah, of that? yeah I was on gangland I gotta search this episode <laughs> I was on gangland and I was like nigga fuck you know what I'm saying and I dissed the, the, the neighborhoods you know what I'm saying which is my natural enemies and then. And then even on the, they blurred my face out, and, they, and on the captions they they didn't even put, the, they put N A T instead of N A P. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it don't even count. You know what I'm saying? So like I ain't gotta do all that because I know what time it is with me. You know what I'm saying? And then also becoming that you're this is now you're like a profession to you. You want to be right. you know you have to put that hat on to be professional. It's right. gonna be it's gonna be hard, but it's it's a lesson learned. That's a part of growing and maturing. Right. No. And I feel like as people in general, we have to learn how to communicate and respect people's boundaries in general. I got and I feel like e- egotistical. I got a podcast hat. I go to the hood. I throw the red flag on. I go home, <laughs> daddy mode. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. in, in my box. My, my 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 not my box. My 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 pajamas. I don't wear Rubbing pajamas. Rubbing your feet. <laughs> oh. Hey girl, boo. Rubbing your girl, boo. Hey, I got the basketball shorts on with my daughters. Telling uh, my youngest Nadia, go get me something to drink. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And watching. I don't like that that YouTuber that talk about that designer shit because you trying to cost me. But you know what I'm saying? What's his name? TJ So Cool? T- CJ So Cool. <laughs> CJ So Cool got my daughter Miss 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 Mer- pronouncing uh, 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 a designer to my mas- I want some Masachi. I'm like, Masachi? <laughs> I think she's talking about some food. I want some Masachi. I'm like, Masachi? I'm all Versace, and it's coming from this too cool dude. Yeah, the YouTuber. I had to take my kids. I don't let them watch him no more. He he got too much. Take baby girl off of that. No, 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 no. She, <laughs> no on her own, she don't watch. She, she got some other. She moved on. Like yeah, she good. Them. On everything. Good, cause yeah. <laughs> no, but shout out him though, bro. No, for real, he he did have a cool kids channel. No, 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 no. I want to interview you though, bro. Pull up like Huggies, but you you trying to you trying to work my pocket. Breaking the team. pockets. That's exactly no, what Christmas for real, did. For real. On everything. I'm glad. I'm only celebrating Kwanzaa from now on. <laughs> <laughs> For real. No, All I right. Ain't, I ain't going to get away with that. <laughs> okay, look. <clears throat> What's up? We talking about the baby kids. Mm-hmm. The daughters. We talking about the girly faces, which is, uh, Mozzie called them the girly faces. And I, I, I think that. that's so cute. No, no, no. Because I got two girls, girly faces. That's so cute to me. I can't do another girl, but yeah, I respect it. We got girly faces. Me, Bozzy, YG, we got girly faces. We got girls, bro. Mm-hmm. So, all right, moving on to the girly faces. All right, we got Tania. Mm-hmm. Now, Tania, uh daughter did an interview with Soft White Underbelly. Mm-hmm. And she, she disclosed a couple of things, but we got a small clip of the full interview. Now, I didn't hear the full interview, but I heard maybe 65% of it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm going to just say parenthood is the hardest hood, bro. Yes. You know what I'm saying? It it ain't ain't easy. And I'm going to say that before we even get started with this shit because I know my, my mama, she's not with the gang gang shit. She's from Missouri. She not with it, 
And she was oblivious when she met my dad. That was Woody. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. She, she, like she, she, she got she messed with my dad, not knowing what was going on. And then even when my dad had a son, which is me, he put a ball in my hand or a book. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And he didn't want me to game bang, but you know, you know, you gotta do what you do. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But all right. With that being said, all right, we gonna run this clip with uh, you no. Know, to me, his daughter. That's what my mom does. She holds to change her ways, and I have to change my ways too. But I already changed my ways. She just wants to keep kicking me out. She wants to keep holding grudges. That's what my mom does. She holds grudges. Just like um, the same baby daddy that she on the internet arguing with, they beef that they had is old. It's That's like my little sister is four now. That was four years ago. He been stopped. Yes, he used to beat on her, but he been stopped doing that. Like four years ago, so that that I feel like that's for no reason. So so, <clears throat> I, I want to for one I want to I want to I want to uh, well if somebody bit on you four years ago, what's up? that that that's like get over it, stop talking about it because somebody might be traumatized by that. Right, you can't you don't get over that, but that's coming from a child, so. And. And I know Tania, right? Mm-hmm. I have conversation with Tania, and before this interview dropped, from what I know, Goofy Badass, like you know, what I'm saying when the little girl needs some change or something, she she hit him and he had sent her money. Now that 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 would lead to her having more, uh, you know, what I'm saying reasons to stay outside, basically. Or right, stay from because her mom. because she she still got she got she got, she got a little more. What's the word? She can st- she can last outside more so because he sent her her money to, to hang Keep outside. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Versus her like she ain't got nothing to turn to. Now she about to go home to her mom. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I I I I I I don't know about that, bro. I'm gonna say this. So I watched both interviews and with like an open heart. You watched the full interview with with, with, with her the, daughter, the daughter, and okay. Tania's interview after the recent one. I never watched Tania's interview after. Okay, so I watched the daughter's first, and I watched Tania's, and I want to say this like. Hold on, before you start, so 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 Tania interview after she was she was she uh like she was, in it, in was, it, was she was she was she uh talking about the the interview her daughter had? Mm-hmm. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I don't necessarily I. I'll say this. Her daughter is very intelligent and she has a lot of her mother's um, mannerisms. And I'm like, she's, I feel like they're both just very hurt. And I understand that this is mother and daughter. And it's sad that this is like displayed on the, like for the world to see. But I feel like there's so much alike. It's, it's almost crazy. Like and the Tania has a lot of resources that she can use. Like she's very smart. I know she's like into like spiritual stuff and God and stuff. So I feel like she just has to use those resources to, to get to her daughter. Cause right now, you know, when little girls are outside and they in the streets, cause I've watched other soft white underbelly interviews. Some of them had good moms and they just turned to the streets. Just like, you know, as a mother trying to prevent my son from turning to the streets, he can do whatever he wants, not in my care. I know this is a big stretch because of what the little girl's into, but I feel like I really hope they can just, they both miss each other. They both love each other. I hope they can just figure it out and come together. Like, I don't want to judge anybody or anything like, cause I, you know, none of us are perfect, but that situation is really sad and touchy. It, I, I really feel bad. And I don't think that, you know, the, the Internet's already, the comments are terrible. Like, they're already, like, dragging her through the mud, and that's not necessarily fair. I've seen a couple people, you know. Who is her? The, the daughter or the mom? Uh, t- criticizing Tinia for being a bad mom, because at the end of the day, it's the fault is, you know, always going to be on the parent. So I just feel like hopefully they can find some type of way to make it back to each other and figure it out, because... That's scary being outside doing what the daughter's doing. She's a little girl. Like, she looks like a little girl. She is. She's like, 13, she looks 14. Like, a, like, she just looks like an innocent little girl. I don't. I couldn't even, you know, she don't look grown or nothing. She looks like a little girl. So it's it's sad. But she she's pretty. She sounds like she's pretty smart. So And she reminds me so much of when I watched Tanisha's interview. I'm like, there's so much alike. Like, mother and daughter. So at some point, you can tell they had a bond. Like, they, whatever happened between them, they just going to have to figure that out. Cause I, I would hate to hear anything happen to that little girl. It's sad. That really like really broke my heart. I ain't gonna lie. I really, <clears throat> cause, cause, <clears throat> cause I got the answer for everything, but 
this in this case I don't. Mm-hmm. And I, 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 I don't know uh, how how you could fix this because I don't know the little girl name, but 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 it seems like she already set in her ways. She know how to go go make her way. Was she? She 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 holding a grudge against her mama, and her mama may or may not did the thing she said. I don't know. Cause I don't want to put nothing on nobody. You know what I'm saying? But. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how 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 a person will repair this and make it right. You know what I'm saying? Genuinely, the girl needs therapy. The little girl because she's already been outside exposed to things that most kids her age haven't been. So she definitely needs therapy, and she's gonna have to learn like respect and rules. And then her mother, you know, I'm not perfect, so I I can't even tell another mother what to do. But they're probably both gonna need some type of counseling. Like, but 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 therapy don't give you structure. No, that the therapy is just like a person that that's like an unbiased ear mm-hmm. that, that you could you, you could like spill yourself to, and they won't judge you. You know what I'm saying? But the, the little girl can have like PTSD now from being out in the streets. You know, she's experiencing things. It that don't no sound time. like it sounds she comfortable. Like, cause cause I no hold on hold on I didn't see videos. She didn't went up. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I haven't seen that. The only thing I've ever seen was this. Man, thing. it like. Like she gets sent to me, and it's like a, a type of like channel, uh, some YouTube. I mean, not YouTube. What's it she called? Uh, Instagram. Page. Instagram. She and then like she, she breaking up shit or whatever, whatever. Like, she, like, and she not like okay. <clears throat> most females, most most females that's out out there doing what they doing, they not gonna admit out loud that they, they don't mess with a pimp. They go camouflage like they mess with a pimp, and then be out there so. The pimps won't get on them and try to sweat them because mm-hmm. you have nobody protecting you. There's little, she don't care. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I, I don't know, man. I, I, I just, I just hope the best for this. Maybe, but she's a little girl. Like you, right. you got thinking her mind. Like she's not. She can put all this up, but this is like, she's a kid. Like, she's, but you would expect a little girl to be uh, more fearful, right? That's what I'm. She, 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 she like, she sound like she fearless. She told. She Cause told, kids don't have that. They don't think like think about when you was 13, 14. I'm the streets, a different fourteen for your. But, but you're in the streets, old. right? You're doing. You're experiencing different things. You don't have the fear of like what you have now. Are probably thinking like that was so stupid what I did at this age. Because kids think like life is just never ending. Never nothing could ever hurt them or harm them. It's a game. Everything's like a game to them. I'm gonna say this. <clears throat> I learned this a long time ago. DNA is everything, right? Mm-hmm. You gotta watch who you mate with. Mm-hmm. I know Tania, baby daddy, <laughs> right? <laughs> and, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, he might be all bad now, but he, at one time, he wasn't a buster. So, DNA is everything. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You got to watch who you made with. That's like, I hypo- watch- hold on, hypothetically, uh, viewers, hypothetically, me and Mariah have a, have a kid. Mariah, she, she did boxing. People don't know she 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 practiced boxing at one point, and then you got Munchie. You know what I'm saying? Put that. That might be a good mixture because I'm smart than a motherfucker. I don't know. I'm actually very smart. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> but, but but I don't know. My the, the the violent DNA might kick in. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like DNA is everything. No, very true. But then you also like. Okay, you could be this way now, but when you have when you start having your kids, you can completely change your whole life because you see how you know life is so you precious. You change time. your DNA, ain't gonna change, right? No, let look, me look, get look, there. Look, 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 look at King. Look at look look at Ti and, 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 and uh, uh, what's her name? Tiny, tiny dark, tiny, tiny son. son. But but look, you, at, you born rich, but you got your DNA. Yo, daddy was born in Bankhead and raised in Bankhead, and I don't know where Ti, I mean Tiny, came up from, but he grew up with this ignorant gene. Genetics is everything, bro. We're very true, but you also can raise the child upright too. So watch what you have them watching, their sur- like their surroundings, and then you start picking up of what they start picking up on their own or what they're interested in, which is society, school, whatever they learn and pick up on there. If they're like attracted to a certain way, you start picking that up early. Where you okay? What 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 what's trade dad name on Boys in the Hood? What's his name? Mm. Styles uh Fishborn. Lawrence Fishburne. Lawrence Fishburne. His daughter do porn. She didn't have to do that. She did it. Now, things be genetics, bro. It just be like down a pipe, or you know what I'm saying. You gotta watch who you make with. Uh, you, which is true. You 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 come from you a well off family, and you want you want to you want to you want to have sex on camera, and you don't have to do that. Very true. And it's unfortunate. Sometimes your kids are 
they completely do the opposite of what you I I know. So I'm you don't know. Your son is great. No, your son, your son got all A's not, and a B. We're not even gonna go through this right now, but just know What's it's not name? easy, Jeremiah. Shout out Jeremiah. He got all A's and a B. Check that out. You can do that and nah, walk outside. Hold on, and get hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I ain't talking about you. Man, don't 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 punish your kids and when they do good, you don't applaud them and then you know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. I'm not talking about her right <laughs> this. I'm talking to the general public. You know what I'm saying? Jeremiah got all A's and a B. I don't want to hear nothing. Look, 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 look. After because that, because there's a kid that's gonna be watching this and be like, okay, well, I got all A's, so I can still go do the whoop whoop after school. No, you still gotta, you gotta maintain it all all across the board. After that interview with Mariah and a lot, uh, Alex Alonzo, mm -hmm. man, he got straight A's and a B today, bro. He, I don't want to hear does, nothing. But he still, you still have to monitor and make sure your child is on the right path because they still veer off when you're not, you're not in their face. At this, at this point, all Mariah got to do is make sure her son wear a condom. No, he, he not, got all A's and a B. Please he, don't he, take he, advice he, in this no, man. He, he could get, he could get accepted to, to, to almost any college at this point. Not if he's a man in society. You ever see somebody just throw their life away? They bro, they not looking at that. They looking at your, no, your, your school I, records. Society is looking at that. No, 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 no. You, who you are outside Colleges of getting your is looking grade. at your school records. All A's and a B? I don't know what okay, point. Okay, but you, let's say you have a nasty attitude. You don't know how to communicate. You can't talk the to other people. Don't you the colleges don't know your nasty. The college is not looking at S's and U's on uh, unsatisfactories and all that. They're looking at grades. And that's unfortunate because then they got all these sports nah, we ain't talking about unfortunate. playing. We, and they, no, they, they ain't all unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah, look at some of these football man, players. Look, 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 look. No, you gotta make sure they have all the right. I'm What's your son's name again? Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Yeah. Shout out Jeremiah, bro. Yeah, they're not looking at honest. They're not looking at center factory grades. They're looking at your grades. Who you it, are? As how a you human act being. at home is. Mm -mm. They don't care how you act with your mama. They want to know how you acting in class and, and your grades and how you. I connect. care about how you acting when I'm not around. But you're, you but you're not a, co a college professor. No, you, that that you're still a reflection of me, and you're that's I'm still responsible for you. The college professor don't care about I'm his mama. Still responsible for you for life. So at the end of the day, you do something stupid. Who has your back? The your college mother. professor don't care about your mom. No, this is terrible advice. The college, no, the college professor no, no, or the college no, that's no. so accepting you not looking at Mariah Hayes. Why Mar would I want Mar my child to contribute to Mariah Hayes to probably got all F's. To but guess what? Jer Jeremiah got all A's and a B. I'd rather have all Now he getting accepted to this college. Mm -mm. They don't care about his mama. They care about him. Right. He's going to do his thing, bro. But you know he still needs to be a good human being outside of you getting those grades. I agree. Don't contribute to the mess that's going on in the world. If you... And where you don't have to, don't don't start stuff where you don't have to. That's that's what everybody. You could be okay. You could be a great person, uh, getting good grades, all that. Then when you step outside the class, you a menace. That don't that don't work like that. Cause them good grades ain't gonna save you. Am I right or am I wrong? You right, cause it right. didn't save me. Cause cause I had, <laughs> I had all right grades and I messed up. I messed up outside of class. Right. You don't get to you, either. You getting locked up. You missing out on prom. Right. All those things. So right. that it does that does make right. a difference. You got to be right. a good human being. She right because. I didn't go to winter formal. I didn't go to uh, 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 proms, proms, homecomings, and then oh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't experience none of that. And I graduated from juvenile camp, so See? I didn't. I, but w when I was out, I made cool grades though. Yeah, but that would have been such a better. But when thing I for when you, the bell rung, I rung niggas bells. See, so why would you want me to experience that? No, that's stressful. No, be a good human being. I want my kids to be. But what I'm describing, you ain't experiencing that. Stop not capping, bro. You putting extent. that. No, no, not you, to your no, extent. No, 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 but no, no, if no. I allow it, it will get there. Yes. Jeremiah's shit is minimal. No, it's for not. Real. Could probably compared to what you're doing, no, no, right? No, no, no. I get it. One through ten, his shit is like a three. No, it's not a three. It's a three. No, because a lot of situations can be worse. I, I'm not. It, I'm not going to be oblivious and be that mom like. No, no. I have what no what idea. it could be? I'm talking about what it is. Okay, so one it could through be ten, a, Jeremiah says a three, and that's not what I raised you to be. A three? No. Give me a high five. Perfect. I'm not. I'm not that's raising right. no menaces. No. Why? Why a three do that? Three is not a menace, bro. No. That, that's just it can big, get there. That, that, as a boy being You're a boy. You're making it like I'm hella strict, and I'm even you yelling. You is. No, I'm not. I had I to just, talk you into a get. Hold on. Let me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mic. Where am I? Look, I had to talk her into get him a new phone. He had these great. He he had this great. Uh, what iPhone? Hold on. The Calm 12. Down. Hold on, hold on. He don't need a fourteen and fifteen. Man, he do. He with them grades. Eighth grade yet. With them eighth grade. 
when he finishes this year off, he could get a new phone. Hey, he has jewelry, said, everything. Else. He gets all the new shoes. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. She didn't drink no alcohol. She said he ain't even graduated eighth grade. He's in high school. He's in eighth grade. Who, Jeremiah? Yes, he graduates this year. He hasn't graduated yet. So when you graduate, you can get the newest phone. I don't need to reward you for what you're supposed to be doing if you know how to do it. Now, if you had a learning disability. Hey, why you ain't never corrected me when I said put him in Carson High School? I said he's going next year. I've no, been I, guess I said, man, put him in Carson. I said, I, I said I'm said i waiting bad. for I'm saying it all don't lie where, where her son about to go. <laughs> he ain't going to Carson, no way. No, nah, he ain't going to Carson. He ain't going to Paramount. He going to... <laughs> He going, to, he going to Inglewood High School with the Inglewood families. Nigga, I dare y'all. Oh, Inglewood. Nigga, I'm from <laughs> IFG. Nigga, about. on B team. Nigga, we ain't playing it over, over here, nigga. <laughs> I, he going to Inglewood High School. Y'all bripping on bloods. We bripping. Nigga, I'm must be the mayor and it's going up. Nigga, that part. <laughs> nigga, Inglewood. Try it. Pull up on Gravilla if you want to. Nigga, on bloods. That's a, yeah, all right. <laughs> All right, drop your Instagram and your Twitter. Yeah. No, I'm dropping nigga, nigga, <laughs> Gravilla. That's where Ingle High School at. Pull up fucking with <laughs> nigga, nigga, Mariah, baby. Nigga, it's Bracken on Inglewood. I'm brepping, nigga. Big much be the mayor from IFG. Anything Fuck. around me is divinely protected. So while you're here, we're all divinely protected. Yeah. My baby's divinely protected, but yeah. thank you. Yes. Yeah, we ain't going to say we where her daddy from. Her daddy a gangster too, though. But we ain't going to disclose that her daddy a gangster, though. But all right, hold oh on. Here God. I go. <laughs> hey, everybody go follow me. MB underscore the mayor. That's MB underscore THA mayor on thread. Instagram. Instagram. One more. What's your YouTube? Instagram. Okay. And then my Instagram is Munchy, Munchy B3400. Munchy B3400. You know what I'm saying? I'm fading. What you had a dating app on your phone you wanted to give your handles to? Uh, Christian okay. Mingo? Nah. Black people meet? Nope. Oh, I don't do that shit. <laughs> hell no. Nah. I don't do that. No, nah, hell no. Nah. I'm trying to get right with what I'm trying to get right with. You know what I'm saying? Right. And everything. Go ahead, though, Princess of the Pop. Make sure you follow my Instagram at underscore Mariah with four H's. Um, my YouTube at Mariah Sharice. Top of the year, I will be dropping videos. Um, and that's the only social media I have, actually. And make sure you purchase my book. My link is in the bio. And make sure that you guys uh, check out the new episodes. Spotify, um, Apple Podcasts. Uh, was it Google now? iHeart. iHeart. Um, Rich at Heart. And make sure y'all follow our Instagram, Rich at Heart Podcast. That part, everybody tap in on tap out, B10. Never thought we'd make it out. Cause we didn't take the safer route. Now it's ownership and bank accounts. Put the beef what they can't go out. Young and black on that paper route. They never thought we'd make it out. Never thought we'd make it out. Cause we didn't take the safer route. Now it's ownership and bank accounts. Put the beef what they can't go out. Young and black on that paper route. They never thought we'd make it out. I fuck with your music, nigga. I see you, nigga. Keep going, nigga. On blood, that shit is good, nigga. It's good energy, nigga. It's good for you, nigga. To show, nigga, you can do it no matter what, nigga. No matter what, nigga, you can do it, nigga. Believe that, nigga. So keep pushing the cold line, nigga. Keep popping, nigga. On blood, I'll be home soon to fuck with it, nigga. We'll see.